If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter, but regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is SimC, how are you all doing? Welcome, welcome to the start of a brand new campaign series here today on the channel. We're going to be playing as Wales on Total War Attila, the Age of Vikings mod. So, first things up, I want to make a deal with you. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly. If not, you just have to wait a little bit longer for that next upload. But welcome back to Total War Attila. It's been a while. We're going to be playing as Wales in Wales of course on the age of vikings mod i'll put in the description below the mod if you'd like to download and play along with me so the main objective for this series is to obviously conquer wales i want to be king of the entirety of britannia i want to knock out the other kings. so i want to take ireland as well Maybe doing some invasions in France. So that's sort of the main objective for this Welsh series. Never actually have played as the Welsh on um, on the channel whatsoever. So I really want to try and take out the other king's thrones uh, in Britannia, I guess. So let's actually talk about thrones in Britannia really quick. It's coming out in a month or so. So I am excited, but I'm not going to lie. I am sort of wary. I have a feeling that it could possibly just be a glorified Age of Vikings mod. I hope not, but from what I've seen, they've streamlined a lot of stuff. They have added a lot of new features, but I just thought what I would do is I'll actually... It's a similar time period, the Age of Vikings mod and the Thrones of Britannia game coming up. I just thought... What we'll do, we'll play as Wales on the Age of Vikings mod and sort of compare. Let's reflect on this campaign once I do a series on Thrones of Brit Britannia, which I will do. Um... Well, I'll, the thing is right as well, guys, I don't know if I'm going to get early access as well. A couple of you guys have been asking where, like, why haven't I been getting sort of early access for Total War games anymore. I think I probably should address that really quickly now. So will I be getting early access for Thrones of Britannia? And the honest answer is, I don't know. I will buy the game when it comes out, regardless if I get it off, because I want to sort of test it out. But it's not just happened for me. Basically, I'm just trying to think when it sort of stopped. I, I got Warhammer. The first one for free and got a lot of the DLC as uh, sent to me early access as well. But basically from Warhammer 2, I've been stopped getting early access codes from the Creative Assembly. And it's not just happened to me, it's happened to a lot of other YouTubers sort of towards sort of the mid, sort of lower subscriber count of Total War content creators. Like the people who, like the top two Total War content creators aren't get they're still getting their codes and getting exclusive stuff but yeah I, I don't know they just stopped replying to emails now I know they've had sort of a staff restructure there but um I honestly don't know I just don't get I I used to have a couple of people in the creative assembly I used to send emails to but I just I just don't get replies anymore to early access which is a shame I'm not really sort of sure why um but I've just got no response so I don't know why but it's probably not going to look likely that I'm going to get early access, which sucks. But hey, I'm incredibly thankful for the codes they've already sent me. And I'm not so arrogant to think, oh, I should be, I should have a code. Like, I should get early access. I demand early access, you know. But I'm allowed to be disappointed when one of my favorite games companies just stops replying to my emails for no apparent reason and just doesn't send out codes to me and a lot of other YouTubers. But hey, that's not every gaming company, of course. I've had a really, really good contact with 2K over the past month. They sent me a bunch of free t-shirts, a bunch of Civ stuff. They sent me a copy of Civ 6 and the Rise and Fall DLC. Sent me a copy of XCOM, NBA. I'd love to get a contact with um, Hearts of One because I want to try and... I would love to get some of... Just to test out some of those DLCs. But to be perfectly honest, guys, some of the Hearts of Iron DLC are not worth your money. Um, from what I can see... The thing is, right... <laughs> The mod developers usually have a quicker turnaround time than the actual developers, like people working on their own time. So you can sort of have that each scratched for free, especially with mods. Because to be perfectly honest, the Together for Victory DLC, um, this, um, Death and Dishonored, are just not worth your money. That's not worth 20 bucks. You're better off downloading mods for free. Like You're better off saving your money, you know. But regardless, guys, I've rambled on enough at the start of this video. Let's get stuck into the Welsh campaign. So we're currently playing as Rodri in the three uh, in the Thrones of Britannia 
game when it comes out. You will be playing as Aaron Root, his son. Um, the, the family tree is a little bit different here. So we've got Rodri, our king, King Rodri of Wales. <laughs> we have Aaron Wid. I don't know why he isn't my faction leader. Sorry, my faction there, 19 years of age. Man, it's been so long since I've actually played a Total War, so it's going to be interesting to see when I'm back to real-time tactical battles compared to Hearts of Iron. We have Cadell and Murfrin. So let's uh, make Aaron Wid the faction heir. Caradog as well. So we've got Mathrathal, our capital. First thing we're going to do, we're going to expand this undeveloped land. We really want to go for galleries first up as well. Maybe a chapel because we've got a lot of religious stuff going on. So, um... There's going to be a lot of religious unrest, especially throughout the world. We've also got lead mines, so a lot of factions are going to give us trade rights as Wales. But I really want to conquer the British Isles, take out the other thrones of Britannia, make one of my sons the King of Scotland, the King of Ireland, and very, maybe even the King of England, maybe take that for myself. So let's get, upgrade that lead smelter, so that'll get us sanitation in all pro and, uh, provinces adjacent as well. And let's get that resource bonus. Okay, cool, cool. Diplomacy-wise, let's sort by attitude. So who actually really likes me? Oh, the Kingdom of Glissing. I don't know how to say that. I'm not even going to bother. So they are actually my vassal. Uh, they have iron, which is going to be huge for us. So we'll try and get that done. They're my puppet. Yeah, they're my puppet, sorry. So we've got a Scottish Kingdom up here as well. But let me know in the comment section down below... Uh, your feedback for the series thus far, constructive criticism where you would like me to expand, and just sort of my, just sort of general consensus of what you guys want me to say. Oh, damn, they rejected. Okay, so let's get another non-aggression. But it's good to be back in Total War. I had a bit of a hiatus. I ideally would like to, now I have a bit more spare time, I want to go through every single Total War, work my way back down, and try and do a campaign of this. I'd love to do another medieval campaign. Um, I also want to have crack it maybe... Um, Maybe another Attila, Rome 2. I don't know, let me know in the comments. I'd, I want to play a Stainless Steel campaign. I think that would be a lot of fun. Kingdom of Ulster as well in Ireland. Let's get a non-aggression pact and trade rights with you. Also, guys, i got another question as well. Will I be playing the Three Kingdoms, uh, Total War Three Kingdoms, the China game coming out? Um, I'll play it. I'll do a series. Am I interested in China? No. I'm not Chinese, if I'm being honest. I can completely understand why the Creative Assembly did it from like a pure marketing perspective. Like 50% of PUBG is Chinese, and it's a huge, huge market over there. So if you can sell a Chinese-centric game with also trying to keep the historical fan base happy at the same time, uh, with uh, Thrones of Britannia. I can definitely see why they do it. So let's talk about Mercia here. Uh, I'm not too sure where I'm going to attack just yet. I think hitting Mercia is probably our best bet because we're going to have to deal with the sons of Ragnar Luthbrook, Hulfdan, Björn Ironside, Ivar the Bonus. I am Ivar the Bonus! Ivar the Bonus! <laughs> we've got um, Aethelred down here, son of Ekbert. We've got the, Vi we've got the uh, Irish Vikings in the Irish Kingdom. So I probably want to try and hit... Uh, the Kingdom of Mercia quite quickly. And then uh, potentially maybe having a, a crack at Ireland. But it's going to be a lot of fun. I really want to take over the British Isles and uh, take as many thrones as I possibly can. So Mercia, they're probably not going to give me trade. No, nah, I didn't think so. But apart from that, Northumbria may very well give me trade. They are a puppet of the Vikings. They're going to give me trade. It's opened up negotiations with the Kingdom of Scotland. Uh, non-aggression pact. We can't seem to get any trade rights apart from that. Okay, let's. we've gone through the diplomacy now. Let's have a quick look through military technology. We want to sort of go for... We really want to get these Welsh longbows. That's what I really want. There we go, Welsh longbows. 27 turns. We want to be line for that. Like I said, I've never played as Wales on the channel before. We've also increased our trade right by 255. We're getting 500 per turn now, which is fantastic. I want to rally up with my king and my my prince here. So what I want to do, I'll kick you out, cut a dog, and we'll put in, we'll bring in my son. The thing is with Wales, they've got an amazing flag, but one of the worst country names. <laughs> so it's a double-edged sword. I kid, I kid, Welsh. Um... Welsh subscribers, having a crack at you. Okay, let's rally up here. Um, should I get some recruitment done? We can get some horsemen, which is probably not a bad idea. And maybe even getting some of these swordsmen here. So I really want to make the... 
I want to try and get an abundance of Welsh longbowmen as quickly as possible. Rodri, um, we'll keep my wife for the time being. Let's have a look at Rodri here, the King of Wales. Um, his wife seems to be all right. What about his son, Arunwid? I wish Arunrud was in this, but I guess I'll na rename one of my sons to that. Maybe even rise him to the throne. So, let's end the turn and continue. I'll let, obviously, Arunwind is going to inherit the Kingdom of Wales. Depending, so we want to have a King of England, which is Welsh. A King of Scotland, which is Welsh and Ireland. So, I want to, that's the main objective for the series. Take over the entirety of the British Isles. The Kingdom of Britain, you must own 20 regions. This is also a mod... Like a, a faction pack for the age of Vikings mod. So what I want to do is we'll chuck that cavalry in and that swordsman. And we'll leave it like that. So we'll pop you further up here. Ideally we want to keep you here in Mathrathal. And we'll send these two guys back to hold. Okay, one more turn until that chapel's complete, which is fantastic. We probably can now as well put an office in for Wales. Let's send Caradog in. We want to try and get our sanitation up and stuff. So let's install an edict. Let's go for public order and production. That was probably what we're going to get us. So yeah, who should we attack first? Mercia, potentially. I do want to betray my puppets at some point because you should never trust the AI in Total War Attila. I'd much rather have a secure southern border with myself, uh, an army there, and, and just holding it out. So let's move down to Mathrathal and let's move here as well. Maybe a surprise attack against the Vikings might be a good idea. Hitting the Kingdom of Dublin, maybe even subjugating them. How big is the garrison in Dublin itself? Okay, so these Axemen are quite significant. There's even an Onager in there, 10. No, we don't have the army just yet to contend with the likes of them. Let's get another Welsh archer because we've sort of got really nice bonuses for archers. So I want to try and make them the bread and butter for the campaign series. I wonder if any of my attitude has increased with any of the other factions. Um... Maybe we can get a defensive alliance or ideally military with some of these other factions. Not entirely sure who I would like to... Ah, uh, then we get trade. I want to get alliances with. We'll just sort of wait to see what the AI does. For example, Danelaw, the sons of Ragnar Luthbrook, are going to be going headstrong for Mercia, probably first, you'd think. And then potentially we can maybe hit Tamworth, Chester, Toshki. I want to try and th I think we're better off sort of pushing over the border quickly. I want to try and get a full stack here before we hit anyone. It's currently winter, so we are going to lose a little bit of food. We're going to consolidate for the first couple of times. Oh, wow, okay. This faction has declared war on you. The Kingdom of Gisling, your allies. Wait, who's done what? Right, okay. So, Hulfdan, the son of Ragnar, has declared war upon me. Has has declared war on you? Really? I thought Mercia would attack me first, so maybe, maybe my puppet would rebel. Northumbria has refused, but we're at war with the Danes. We are at war with the great Viking army. Wow, that's, um... Surprising, if I'm, if I'm being honest. Dane law is that law with Wales? Huh. I'm surprised they want to, like, cross over by that much. That's insane. Okay. So, we're at war with the sons of Ragnar. Let's get a non-aggression pact, most definitely. Let's increase that to a trade right. I want to try and get military access if I can, ideally. No, we're not going to be able to do it, because I want to be able to push through. The thing is, right, it's going to be a while before they even hit my lands anyway, you know? I need to be able to increase my my army somewhat. How big's the garrison here? Okay, not enough to sort of hold out. Uh, okay, I've skipped a couple of turns ahead. What is it, turn six? We've probably only done six turns. Um, not really too much is going on. We've got this buffer zone here with Mercia and King Aethelred. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Aethel, uh, it's What it was? Is he Aethelred? No, he's Burgred, sorry. Aethelred is down here, yeah. That's um, Alfred's brother 
or son. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think that's yeah. I think he's. I think that's um. Yeah, there's some relation there. I can't remember exactly. Sons of Ragnar. The Scottish Kingdoms are still qu squabbling. I'm tempted to maybe go after like Dublin, maybe subjugate them. Because, as you can see up in the north, at Babenberg, the sons of Ragnar Luthbrook Hulfdan is actually besieging Northumbria here. But there's not really too much we can do. It kind of sucks. Like, I'd rather mercy or just, like, attack me. Whoa, okay. Oh, here we go. Your ally is under attack and calls you for their help. The Kingdom of Wessex has declared war upon my vassal. Now that's interesting. Couple of things. Um, decline and break alliance. Enter war on ally side. We could do a counter offensive against Wessex, but then we've got a problem with Dane law. That's the thing. Shit. I think we probably can beat Wessex. I think that's where our push is going to be. It's going to be more natural to hit this down here because we're just waiting for the sons of Ragnar and Luthbrook to push us. And if, and if Wessex get that little sort of buffer zone against us. We're going to be surrounded by all sides, and it's only a matter of time before the Kingdom of Dublin and their Viking hordes raid the west coast of Wales. So let's enter the war on Ally's side, and we'll march south, and we'll see if Prince Eckbert really does shit gold or Aether. And a worthy bride, Caradog. Interview, minus 20, give blessing, minus 2 control. Let's, um, intervene. It is winter, so we're not going to be able to, we are, uh, no, we're not going to be able to march just yet. So, Winchester, London, and Canterbury. Winchester is quite a large town, but I think we'll be alright. But at the moment, guys, we've had some pretty interesting events. We're at war with Aethelred of Wessex, and Danelaw, Hulfdan, and of course the Danes. They don't want to sue for peace, because no Welsh or Viking blood has been spilt. I will try to get a battle in today's episode, but we'll just sort of have to see how we go. I reckon I will. I won't, I won't end the episode until we do. Faction destroyed. Kingdom of Northumbria. And the trade has been dissolved. Maybe that was one of the reasons, potentially, as to why they wanted to, um... Yeah, attack me. Maybe because I was be I'm actually trading with a lot of the, the factions. That they want to do. I want to try and get a trade right with Mercia. Oh, it's going to be rejected, but it's close. We need to get this army to the test because having it sitting here idly by is not sort of the best bet. I'm also going to have to figure out how to get around Mercia without pissing them off, you know. I'm going to move my heir, Aaron Wood. I think it's Aaron Wood, wouldn't it be? Because it's the other one's Aaron Root. These Welsh names are going to be. Uh, the death of me. We can levy this for 200, these archers. Or we can get some mercs here. I'd rather just save. Mercenary Welsh Armoured Spearmen. They might be alright. Okay, let's end the turn and continue. We'll push down to Serwent. But Wessex could very well push out against us. War declared, the Kingdom of Dublin and Ulster, that's good. Ulster, sorry. It's good to see them actually fighting. Saves us. Um, should I levy these blokes and get some mercs? We'll just get the 300 mercs there. Minus 200. Yeah, that was a waste of money. That's a huge upkeep there. I forgot how expensive they are. There's no point in doing that. Right, let's march headstrong. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? King... <laughs> King Aethelred is just outside Winchester. It's going to call in the fight though. How big is the garrison in Wessex? Not too big. Let's have a crack. Oh, okay. I reckon we can... I reckon we can have a pretty good job with that. So, King Aethelred's here. We're only just outnumbered. Aethelred. Thagen Spearman. Fjord Spearman. And then they've got Odda. 
with fewer spearmen. So looking at the army, we have cavalry superiority. I think Aethelred's unit isn't cavalry. I'm surprised why that's so much in their favour. Let's fight this one on the field of battle. So if we can kill the King of Wessex, we might be able to sue for peace. The Battle of Winchester, 1870. The Welsh surrounded by all sides. Oh. They're in a fortified position. Were they really? Like I said, guys, it's probably been eight months <laughs> since I've actually played a Total War Attila campaign. So there's going to be some misplays, there's going to be some dick ripping, but it's going to be a lot of fun being back in Total War. I'll still be playing Hearts of Iron Crusader Kings 2, of course, but seeing Thrones of Britannia is going to be out in a month, I thought we'd have a crack at playing as the Welsh. It's foggy, which is fine. Uh, there we go, that's what we want. We've got a dry day. Wow, okay, so they're actually in a fortified position. Uh, which isn't good, because forts, watchtowers are basically like machine guns in Total War Attila. So you want to try and drag them out of the fort. I reckon we can beat that army. Um, we shouldn't have a time limit. But here is the king, King Aethelred of Wessex. I'm surprised that they wanted to, to have a crack at the Welsh, to be honest. Okay, so let's um, try and find a defensive position on this map. Up in the trees, that's not too bad. Maybe up on the hills here. The only problem is if we get flanked. That's probably not too bad. Taking this hill position here, and then if we do have to attack, they'll slowly do it. But, scenings... Scenings, they're probably going to outnumber me. The AI is more than likely going to attack me. But we can always encroach slowly but surely from this side anyway. Let's just cross our fingers and hope that the enemy doesn't reinforce from this side. So you want to try and get a sloped hill position. That'll be fine. And we'll put my... We'll put swordsman on the flank. Okay, so let's sort of angle it up like... ESA. Let's go into your shield war formations where possible. So it's going to be a little bit more tighter like that. Then we'll keep these blokes in reserve. I forgot how long it sort of takes to get set up like this. We'll keep these guys in reserve ready, ready to pivot and, and rotate where we can. Where we sort of need to. Because it's that, oh, they're going to get flanked there. You have to get the angle right. Or otherwise, like if they hit the side of that, it technically can be hitting them from the sides. Which gives them really bad bonuses. So you want to try and keep it like that. Uh, not quite. It's also on a hill as well. That's probably bang on there. All right, archers as well. Let's reform them here. So what have we actually got? We've just got Welsh longbowmen and Welsh archers. So the range is, is quite a bit. Let's switch over to heavy shot. I think that's my best bet. So let's move my cavalry here on the left and right as well. Along with King Rodri of Wales. Let's start the battle here. And let's, we'll have a see what the enemy does in a minute. So here is King Rodri of Wales. It's sort of a, 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 I guess, if you mix Scottish and Irish together, you get Welsh. That's a pretty good accent. So at this time in history, we're not the most heavily armoured medieval knights, you know. But, we definitely, oh, okay. We definitely can do some damage. So the enemy approaches... On my right flank. Are they going to try and get to the town? It looks like they are. We need to... Intervene on that. We should just engage that head on. We have archer superiority here as well. Let's get into that. We don't want. We want to stop them from getting into the town. If we can beat them here in the field, I don't know if we're going to be able to push that. It's going to be nearly impossible. But with that sort of cinematic shot at the start, it's given them about a an inch of wiggle room. If we can form up with our cavalry and hit one of these swordsmen, hit Odda, we might be able to kill him. 
Like a cavalry charge from behind, even though it's even though it's swordsman, potentially spearman, you can do a lot of damage if you're quickly out. Try and get my archers in as well. If we can looks like Otter's turned, which is what we want. Because we want to get my archers to hit someone like that. Looks like their archers have turned. It looks like the garrison in Wessex is actually... Uh, the garrison in the town has actually come out. Along with these spearmen as well. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to... Swing you that way because we want to hit these guys. We'll halt you and we'll swing you here. We'll swing my swordsman like here say. And we'll swing my archers there as well. But have a crack at that general's bodyguard if you're in range. Basically go for that. If we can take out a couple of units beforehand, we'll be absolutely laughing. Now that my cap my archers are in range, we're not gonna worry about charging a cavalry unit in. Have a crack at that. Go against the archers, you're alright. How are my guys not in range? Pull back, pull back, pull, go that way. Right, there we go, that's what we want. Hit them from behind, rain, fire and death upon the enemy. The Welsh are shooting at us! Take aim. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Like, if we can take out their general... If we're taking out 60 of their very heavy infantry. That's what you want to sort of do. There is a time limit. But I think we'll be fine. Focus that. Focus back on them again. Keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. If we can kill a high prominent commander, a high ranking officer, we're going to be laughing in this battle. It's going to be a little bit difficult because I wasn't expecting... I, um, there we go, enemy general's dead. I wasn't expecting a fort, but she's not all over. One enemy general down, one to go. Let's have a crack at their spearmen here. Let's run them down. Let's swing you up here. Let's swing my cavalry here. So let's let my archers have a look at their select, have a hit at their spearmen. Have a crack at those, have a crack at those archers here. They're trying to just get back to the town, which is just absolutely wrecking them. Charge! For Wales! For St. David! And St. George. Obviously different time period, but you get the message. Okay, looks like they're actually putting in an offensive on here. Pull back, that spearman's getting way too close. Oh, get out of there, lads. It looks like they might have a crack at me now. Let's swing this this way then. Okay. That's what we want. For you back to here. Archers! Reform the line. Keep Rodri here as well. So we're doing alright so far. We've killed about 500 of them. We've only lost 20 of our own. Oh god. Aethel Red is not scared of any Welsh. So what does Aethel Red actually have? Very heavy infantry. So we've drawn them out of the fort, which is what we want. You want to form this up. Once they get for closer in, we'll go with a um 
My surrounding tactic. It looks like they're going to try and go straight on for me here. I'm hoping that line's going to hold. Because I think it's a little bit too thin. For my liking. Yeah, it is. It's way too thin. Fuck. Oh, nothing like a re... A last minute reform the line. We're going to be able to do it. Barely. Oh, what has happened there? Oh, my God. We might have just lost it then because the line didn't get reformed. No, it looks like we're going to be able to get it still. Angle it like that because of the flank. Angle it like that. Looks like we're just going to be able to soak them up. Go with the counter charge there. Okay, this is what we're going to have to do. Charge. And charge. I'm going to swing my longbowman back and around. Uh, back and around. I'm going to also swing my general as well. We'll put a war cry on that. And we'll hit that. We're going to have to get rid of... We're going to have to get rid of their archers as quickly as possible. But we also need to hit out their general. So we need to get my own archers around to hit theirs. Because my cavalry isn't probably going to do too much. It's my archers that are going to take out the bodyguards. But I do need... So I need to get some archers around here. Swing around with my general. Because we get some hammer and anvil strikes going. That's fine. Charge them. You need to target that, and you need to target that as well. General-wise, swing around and hit these buckling spearmen. Man, this is going to be a hell of a fight here. I wasn't expecting to fight Ragnar Luthbruk and his sons, nor Aethelred and the, the Kingdom of Wessex, but it's happened. There's not much I can do about it. So they're buckled now. Cool. Now pivot. Slowly but surely, just turn and rotate. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Come back here. Draw draw them sideways so the archers can hit them. They're getting engaged. Are you fucking mad? Right. Hit the front line now. These guys are freed. Hit that. For the king! For Rodri! For a free and independent Wales! Keep on hitting them. Swing this way, my friend. Have a crack at them. Get the king out. Have another crack. Hit that. Whoa, they're getting way too close there. I've got a lot of things to look at. But we've reduced theirs by 30 still. Alright. Get a counter charge going. Pull back, pull back, pull back this way. Hit them there. Run away. Right, we've smashed the infantry, and now that's allowed us massively to, to move out. So get out of your locked positions. Charge a couple of them down, but... Yeah, go for those archers there. Charge them down. Oh, you're getting too close. No, 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 you're getting too close to Aethelred. Charge that down. You charge that. You charge that. Get these archers over here to hit Aethelred. They're gone now. They're buckling. There's only 16 of them. There's no harm in hitting them. How many have we lost? 300. 
Man, they're bloody fools to even attempt to... ...to come out of that town. It's because we caught a cup. We, we managed to kill their reinforcing general. We're making Aethelred a pincushion. And now we're probably going to be able to push on to... ...Wexford itself. Where is Rodri? Where is the king? Continue to kill the king here. Fall you further back. Continue with that. Man, I'm so happy to be back in Total War Attila. It's been a while. Like I said, I want to be able to go through and like go through Empire, go through Medieval, go through Shogun 2, go through Rome 2, maybe do a couple of series on, a, on each. Now, archers, take game. Loose for Audrey. Like I said, this is going to be the bread and butter of the series, these. Ah, oh, we destroyed the entirety of his unit. The poor Saxon bastards. That was horrific, is the word that comes to mind. Okay, excellent stuff. So let's try and run down as many of them as possible. My cavalry. He's heavily depleted. Heavily knackered there. we still got to watch out for those arrow towers because they're still active. Archers get some target practice on them. Run down this feared archer unit. We've done well. We've caught the king and we've caught the Winchester garrison quite early on. Now let's hope that we haven't overextended against Ragnar Luthbrook and the Great Heathen Army. But to be fair, we would have had to hit these blokes anyway at some point. Let's end the turn. We're not going to be at that. Heroic victory. Excellent stuff. We deployed 2,000 and lost 297. 1,703. They deployed 2,320. I'm surprised that that's a heroic victory, you know. We've killed Aethelred and we've killed Odda, one of the high-ranking officers as well. Excellent stuff, guys. That hill position. The thing is, with that's what I love about Total War. If you can get a tactical, good, or tactically really good position on the map, you're bloody laughing. They outnumbered me and saw their reinforcements getting engaged. We divide and conquered them. And that, that means they drew them out. There's, like, the thing is, right, fuck actually charging that fort, man. There's no way I would have won it. Rodri the Victorious. But just looking at those stats here, guys. 272, 290 for my cav. 400 with my cavalry there. We've killed the King of Wessex in one fell swoop. They may have attacked my puppet, but now I have the upper hand. Aethred is, uh, Aethred is dead. Yeah, I think Aethelred is Alfred the Great's brother. I can't remember. I can't remember if his father is um, Aethelred. Oh, Aethelred. Oh, Aethelred's um, Eckbert's son, isn't he? Alfred's his, his son after that, isn't it? Yeah. Three hundred ninety-seven. How one fifty-four? The thing is, right? Look at this, guys. These four units of archers. Like, take out a unit and a half each. So we can kill the captives, we can take on warriors, or we can ransom. I'm going to kill the captives, isn't it? That 108 isn't going to help me at all. So now, have we absolutely depleted the Winchester garrison? Yeah. So we're not going to be able to march straight in, but we're nearly going to be able to. <laughs> so let's move to Mathraffle now. I'll do a quick save after that, because... It'd be typical if the game was to crash. Okay, so let's have a look at Rodri. Um, I can't quite remember off the top of my head what was the sort of meta for this. Trainer, motivator, tactician is probably the way to go because you want to get to legend, don't you? Oh, wow. Plus 5% research. Rate faction wide. Fuck yes. Let's get authority as well. He hasn't got any... He's got a helmet. So at the moment, he's got an armor, which gives me what? 20%... Bonus, 14%, 13% melee attack, 10% armor for the commander's unit. Nah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Otto is deceased of Wessex. There is a new king. All hail the new king of Wessex. That's what the local populace is saying, probably. Imagine if Gwent 
sort of a servant came in and just like sniped me. Kingdom of what is that again? Scratch your side or something? Scratch your side? Is that war with him now? So who's the king now? Alfred. Yeah, Alfred the Great is now king. Yeah, his son. Dane Law doesn't want peace. Nah. Does Wessex? Nah. Anyway, we're going to be able to... I don't know why the AI does this. It's like fucking... 101. Or like 101. 101. 101 for a total war. You never, never put an army directly outside of town. Because look at this, right? I'm going to be able to fight Alfred in the field. And it's going to draw out... Leofric and the garrison inside. I'm going to auto-resolve it because it's a clear-cut victory. And we're going to be able to kill... Ex Ekbert's son and his great-grandson. 319. That's mad, by the way. I lost less than that last fight. Let's kill the captives. And let's march in and take Winchester now. Occupy. Occupy and loot. It's not even that much anyway. Okay. So now... The Welsh are the new governors of Wessex. Edgar is now... King, they want peace. How much will you give me? Hi. How much will you give me for peace? The only thing I'm I'm worried about is really ex really extending my position here to London and Canterbury. Wessex is the um the jewel in the crown, you know. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sue for peace. Try and milk as much money out of them as possible to rebuild my army in a Welsh image. Yeah, we've actually knocked out the line of Ekbert, which is crazy to think. Let's renegotiate with relations that's sought by happiness. Mercia, do you want trade? Moderate, rejected. Dublin, do you want a non-aggression pact at least? Yeah, give me trade. Low, I should have done a, a combo there. They don't want peace. And neither did the Danes. So we've done all right. We've we've had, we've taken Winchester, which is huge in my opinion. We're still only making 120 per turn. We're going to be able to replenish this army somewhat. We'll move you to Mathrathal. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm better off to get a couple of these blokes in, or am I better off getting more down here in Winchester? Because um, we can get a couple more of them. We get like three levies here. And maybe one more down there just to sort of sweeten things off. Winchester doesn't have a resource, does it? But it is a court compared to a town. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notifications squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Goodbye. Really close cinematic shots here, pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.